Uh, my name is Jeff Pettigo, and uh, I am a solutions architect with Yahoo. Uh, I work with uh, partners throughout Europe in delivering mobile solutions uh, and ways to deliver our services to uh, their customers. Okay, so Yahoo Go is a, uh, a Java application that we've recently released, and we believe that it's a revolutionary way to be able to allow customers to uh, consume content, primarily internet-based content, on their mobile phones. Uh, we believe that it's unique for a number of different reasons. Uh, one is the user interface. So we use a uh, carousel paradigm here, where the user can easily scroll through a uh, carousel and see different services, uh, content services provided by Yahoo. Uh, these services could potentially also be provided by third parties in the future. Um, we've divided it into a number of different, what we call, uh, uh, panels or widgets. Uh, each of these widgets um, has a specific functionality. This particular widget here you see is a newsreader. Uh, we have news, sports, finance, and entertainment news. They're all fully RSS enabled. So if I drill into any one of these widgets, I can now see more information about that particular topic, this one being uh, entertainment. Uh, so I can see latest headlines for a number of different RSS feeds. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can also add sources. And when I add sources, those sources can be from Yahoo, it can be from some of our content partners. If I'm a, Yah a My Yahoo user uh, and I've set up RSS feeds on uh, the PC, I can also consume those uh, RSS feeds uh, from the mobile. Um, or of course I can enter any RSS URL in the entire world. Um, or I can search for uh, a particular uh, source, a new source, just based on keywords. So I have lots of different ways to be able to select the content that I'm looking for. Does the application, is it also linked to, uh, for example, GPS on the phone? Um, there's no reason why it couldn't be. Um, we're working with uh, operator partners in order to be able to get specific location-based information uh, for the application. Uh, right now, the way it's released in, in its beta form, um, it basically uses the location that you have set in your Yahoo profile. So if you're signed into the application, we know where you live, uh, and we'll use that. You always can override that if you are uh, on traveling somewhere. Uh, it's very easy to override your default location. And can I just download this application on, on my phone, or how, how do I get hold of it? A absolutely. So if you go to uh, m.yahoo.com, that's our mobile site, uh, and there's a, 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 a flash introduction, a tutorial, uh, and again, it has instructions on how to download it to the handset. So it's in gamma right now. Um, it was released in beta at CES. Uh, and we hope to have it uh, uh, in full production uh, in the very near future.